step one. Getting these plants to market all around the country begins with picking millions of Boston ferns from hundreds of acres of shade covered growing houses where they have been growing for over nine months. Workers walk through the fields and pick the finest ferns and load them to the trailers known as field carts, which are tethered together like a long train. Each solo stack trailer holds approximately 100 of these lush dark green plants and are moved by the thousands. The trailer picture here will move 500 plants to the shipping facility, where the plants will continue their journey to stores like Home Depot, Kroger, Menards, Lowe's, and other large retailers. Fun fact, over 8 million plants make their way from Homestead to stores around the country. This farm grows 800,000 of them. Step 2. Once the tractors pull the trailers from their growing location to the shipping facility, the ferns are offloaded from each trailer one at a time and placed on a conveyor belt where they travel through a line of workers. As the fern makes its way down the line, the plant is first, trimmed and cleaned with hand scissors to make them look their best. Second, they are then tied with a tag that will teach the consumer how to take care of them. To help the store speed up your checkout, a sticker called a UPC is then placed on the pot to make it easy to scan the item when sold at a register. And the fourth and final step is to place the plants in a plastic sleeve to keep them safe from any damage and to keep them looking their best. Fun fact, it will require 16,000 trailers to move all the Boston ferns out of the shade house and 40,000 to empty out the farm. Step 3. Boxes are the preferred method of packing ferns. Building boxes is a constant job which requires tens of thousands of boxes to be built during a short spring season. The shipping facility has stacks of large cardboard boxes measuring 27 by 42 by 48 inches that need to be unfolded and stapled to the wooden pallets with special air guns. Fun fact, in a short three months, more than 20,000 boxes will be built and stapled from the farm alone. Step 4 The final step in the packaging process is to place the plants in the boxes. To make the job easier, the boxes are organized with their lids in a long line that fill the warehouse so many boxes can be packed at one time and make it more efficient for the workers to pack the plants. Once the boxes are organized, the workers begin to lay the ferns down in the box in rows of 10 by 3 rows high for a total of 30 plants per box. The boxes are then covered and readied for the forklift to load them into the truck. Fun fact, it will require 26,000 cardboard boxes to ship the furnace to market. Step 5. It is the forklift driver's responsibility to organize the boxes in the trucks and he and his team are also responsible to know which boxes go in which trucks. Once the orders are identified, the driver will begin to stack the boxes in stacks of threes. This is because the boxes are designed to fit perfectly inside the truck three high by two wide. Once the loading process begins, the driver will put 88 boxes in the truck for a total of 2,640 plants per truck. Not all plants will end up in the same store. The truck driver will go to as many as 13 different stores and drop off boxes at each store. Fun fact, it will take approximately 300 semi-trailers to move 800,000 ferns to market. 